We're still working to learn the names of two men shot to death in Northwest Jacksonville yesterday. The victims were found near Majestic Plaza Apartments on West 36th Street and Moncrief Road. The men are believed to have been in between 18 and 25 years of age. Police have not released any suspect information, but one witness says he saw teenage boys running from the area. As the investigation of this double homicide continues, a survey by the Florida Times Union concludes violent crime here in Jacksonville has become worse in the past three years since Sheriff Mike Williams and Mayor Lenny Curry took office. Today, News 4 Jacks reporter Jim, Puget, Jim Piggott took a closer look at the numbers and shows us what he found. Another deadly weekend in Jacksonville with two men shot to death off 36th Street near Moncrief and another homicide in Newtown. It adds to what many believe is an ongoing crime trend in the city. This weekend, the sheriff opened his campaign office, and we had a chance to talk to him about violent crime. Violent crime is down. I mean, we've had some high-profile events in the community, obviously, that raise the, that raise the profile, uh, and that gets the conversation going, and uh, it doesn't take away from any of that. Uh, those issues are, are tragic, are tragic issues. Uh, but when we look at an overall trend, where are we as a community heading, we, we feel very strongly we're headed in the right direction. We're always going to have the bad day, the bad weekend, but we've got to stay focused on the work. On Sunday, the Florida Times Union published this article taking aim at the sheriff and the mayor saying despite spending more money, violent crime is increasing based on the latest numbers from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Here at News for Jacks, we track homicides and murders as well. And our numbers show that murders are actually down this year. In 2014, the last year that Mayor Alvin Brown was in office, there were 93 murders. In 2015, Mayor Curry and Sheriff Williams' first year, 96 murders. In 2016, that went up to 108. Last year, another increase of 118 murders. So far this year, with one month left, 91. We've watched as the mayor and sheriff budgeted more money and began a series of programs to fight crime. The sheriff's department makes up about 36% of the city budget, more than any other department. And all of this is supposed to help the sheriff in solving cases. But the FDLE report shows the clearance rate is almost the same as last year, 17.1%. That's one of the lowest in the state. But again, you have to remember, this is only for the first six months of this year, and that number could be different today. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.